All right, so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to uh, copy files over uh, from your iPod to your computer. And this would be something that would happen, um, you know, if you're on a different computer and you needed to get your music files off of your iPod onto this other computer. Um, and so we'll wait for everything to finish loading up here. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go click start. My start bar is in the top. Uh, and we'll go to uh, my computer and uh, my computer will open up and you're going to be looking for uh, your iPod's name. So my iPod is called Eagle. So I'm going to go over to Eagle um, and I will uh, double click on that here. Uh, your iPod may be named something different. So you'd obviously double click on whatever your iPod's name is. And you can see there's three folders and these three folders are none of the folders that we actually want. So uh, we're going to have to show the other folders that we do want. And to do that, we're going to go up to tools and down to folder options and click on the view tab and then under uh, hidden files and folders you're going to click show hidden oops, sorry under hidden files and folders you're going to show you're going to click on show hidden files and folders so click on that and then uh, we'll go click OK and you can see that uh, we have some more files and folders that have appeared and uh, the one that we want is going to be called iPod underscore control so let's go ahead and open that up. And then in here, there's several more files and folders and the one that you're gonna want is called music. So we open that up. And in here you have several different folders and you're actually gonna want all of them. We're gonna take a look in one of them here. And uh, as you can see, there's a bunch of music in here, um, which represents a portion of the music uh, on my iPod. And if you were to copy all the folders previous on the previous page on your desktop, you'd have all the music that was on your iPod on your computer. Uh, the weird thing is, as you'll note, that um, the file names are not what you'd think they would be. But uh, don't need to worry about that because the ID3 tags, which is what, um, that, that's the important part of the music, uh, that is still intact. So we're going to go ahead and click on the first one. And then I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to click on the last folder. And that will select all of the folders. And then we're going to go to edit and copy. And I can minimize this window to get back to my desktop and I can right click on my desktop wherever I want and I can click paste. And uh, that is how you can get uh, the music from your off your iPod uh, and onto your computer.